my dear people, um, let me again correct one impression because I've seen some people saying in the media that I released one news or the other. I have never, directly or indirectly, spoken or released any message since after voting on the 25th. My last comment in the media was mainly after voting on the 25th, and I've never done so until now. So whatever you see in the media, please disregard. It's not coming from me, directly or indirectly. This is my first time of speaking, coming out to the media. And I thank all of you for your understanding. For me, it's a very simple thing is to speak to Nigerians who on the 25th of February trooped out and mass as committed citizens to participate in what all of us know as what are called existential election for supposedly free, fair, credible, presidential, and national assembly election. We enjoy, and in all things, we give thanks to God. For me, number one thing is gratitude. Gratitude to God Almighty that continue to protect and bless our dear country, Nigeria. Number two is gratitude to Nigerians that participated in the election answering the call as true citizens in our dear country. Number three is gratitude to those of um, Nigerians, especially the youth, that believed and worked tirelessly for a new Nigeria and trusting that new Nigeria on that team and my good self. I thank them for their hard work. Gratitude to the obedience youth, those who believe that a new Nigeria is possible. And I say to them that a new Nigeria is possible. And we'll work for that new Nigeria that is possible. <laughs> their resilience, their hard work for a new Nigeria should not be waned. Daddy and I co remain committed to that new Nigeria. I know how they'll be feeling now because of the way the elections have come and gone. The commitment and resilience of Nigerians, even in face of unwarranted public attacks, is a testimony that a new Nigeria is indeed possible. I look at people like Lady Jennifer Ifed, who was stabbed but insisted on voting. And that gives me courage to believe that a new Nigeria is indeed possible. And there's so many other Nigerians. The election that we just witnessed have been conducted and results announced as programmed. It is a clear 
version from electoral rules and guidelines as we were promised. This election did not meet the minimum standard expected of a free, transparent, credible, fair election. It will go down as one of the most controversial elections ever conducted in Nigeria. The good and hardworking people of Nigeria have again been robbed by our supposed leaders whom they trusted. However, let me humbly and most respectfully appeal to all Nigerians to remain peaceful, law-abiding, and conduct themselves in the most responsible manner. Please be assured that Dati and I, and indeed all of us, this is not the end for the beginning of the journey for a birth of new Nigeria. <laughs> Dati Baba Ahmed and I remain absolutely undaunted and deeply committed to the project of a new Nigeria that will be built on honesty, transparency, fairness, justice, equity. All the above starts with the process. The process through which people come into office is far more fundamental, more important than what they do thereafter. It's my belief, and I've maintained so consistently, that if you must answer His Excellency, the process through which you arrive to office must be excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We must now require that we do the right things in order to generate the required confidence and moral authority to lead. As you know, destruction of a society begins and gradually progress when we act rascally we deliberate the manipulation of the rule of law and suppression of the will of the people. During my campaign process, I would say that we will govern by the rule of law because we know what not doing that will bring about. And that's why we insisted that. Let me reiterate. And I assure you that good people of Nigeria that will explore all legal and peaceful action to reclaim our mandate. <laughs> we won the election. And we will prove it to Nigerians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please do not despair. We have elections coming up on the 11th. I enjoy you to go out, campaign, and bring up people to again come out and vote in that election. We still have so many massive support out there that we need for our subnational and state assemblies, please come out and be part of that election. I assure you that I will be part of it. I assure you that I'm totally committed for a better future in this country. And nothing will stop that. That is commitment. My commitment is total. The rest are shown. Now your support will not be in vain.
Amen. And you will not find us one thing. Amen. We must build a better Nigeria. Amen. Where Nigerian youths will be happy, glad to call their own country. Yes. Thank you and may God Almighty continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Amen. Thank you very much.